Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt with Atlantis and you know, I still keep getting the you know, the calls and the emails and the text messaging from people asking how they can pick up um, more customers. I have done a couple videos on that, but let me just give you a couple quick marketing tips that you can do um, in a relatively short order that will dramatically increase you know how many leads you get. Um, now I got to be careful when I say pick up more customers. What marketing does is it generates leads for you. Now what you do with those leads is a whole different you know ball game. But in order to make the sale, in order to get the customer, in order to you know get the the filter replacement, the pump repair, you need the lead. And so you have to look at leads and sales as two different things with two different processes. And uh, you need to kind of view it in that way. So in this video, I'm not going to talk about the sales aspect of it. I'll do that in probably my next video. But what I will say is some of the easiest ways that you can do it is just put yourself in the seat, in the driver's seat, of the customer who's looking for a service. So if you were to ask yourself, let's say that you had a swimming pool and you wanted to have maintenance on it, uh, what would you do? Where would you go? How would you go about finding a pool guy? Would you jump onto Facebook and ask all of your friends, hey, um, I need a new pool guy. Does anyone know a pool guy? If, if that's what you would do, you might consider getting a Facebook page uh, for your business. I have one for my business and I post on it um, pretty regularly. I'm also shared in uh, a couple different groups out there, a couple different community groups. People will, you know, um, mention me and I've picked up a lot of work that way. If you would jump onto Google and you would Google, you know, pool services, what would come up? Well, when you type in pool service, I mean, just do this. Type in uh pool service near me, or not even pool service near me, just pool service. And what you'll find is you'll get something called, it goes by a couple different names. It, it used to be called Google My Business, and then they called it Google Local Listings. And they kind of changed the names, but what it is, it's the Google placement that you'll find on the maps. So, you know, you'll see those little tiny icons that show up. Um, that places you on the map. That is a listing that you can get through Google. It's absolutely free and you can get tons of business through that. I get probably more calls on my Google listing than I do on my web page. And, um, you know, um, web page is something that's important because it helps give you a face out there. It's a billboard that is working for you 24 seven, but the, the Google listing, that's what people will look at. And here's the secret to Google listings. Get reviews. Get people to review you on that Google listing page. I can't even tell you guys how many times people will tell me, because I'll always ask the question when they call, how did you hear about me? Oh, I saw you on Google. Oh, on my webpage or on the Google listing? On the Google listing. Oh, why did you choose me? Well, because you have several positive reviews. Now I have, I have as of right now, perfect reviews. I think I have, oh, I don't know, a little over half a dozen reviews on there. And, um, and they're all five star reviews. So people will look at the other guys and if they don't have reviews or if they don't have positive reviews, then they'll go with the guy that has the reviews and people do read reviews. I mean, I'm a big Amazon, um, guy. I love going to Amazon and buying things. And before I hit, you know, click on the purchase this product, I always read the reviews. I've had people tell me, you know, uh, you got my business because you had positive reviews. Um, so that's important. So just put yourself in their position. Um, some people will go onto Craigslist. I would advise you to stay away from Craigslist. Craigslist, people are looking for price sensitive um, businesses. So normally the ones that are charging extremely low rates, you'll find there on Craigslist. And the customers that go there, they're not looking for 
quality as much, they're looking for price. And although you can get some good customers off of that, I find that I find that the quality of the customers there are not really what I'm looking for for my business. I'm looking for people who want a good quality service, uh, a long-term relationship with me as the pool service provider. And, um, and that's kind of what my target is. Um, I know a lot of people that have tried the, the YP listing, the yellow pages, and um, I've never seen anyone happy with that decision. Google, yes. Yellow pages, no. Number one, no one goes to print media anymore. And number two, the, the packages that they sell you for the online listing cost a fortune and you don't really get, it's called ROI. And remember that guys, ROI, return on investment. So you always have to ask what is going to be a good place for me to go um, in the marketplace online or wherever to get a good ROI, to get a good return on investment. Google Places is good, website is good. Um, these different things, um, they're good. Also, there's something that if you live in a congested area, um, and when I say congested, I mean congested with pools. This won't work for me here in Idaho so much, but in Southern California, you can do this with great success. It's called five arounds. Now, a five around is, let's say you have a pool in a track, you would get on Google Earth and you would look and find out who around you has pools and then you make a note of their addresses and you put flyers on a regular basis and that's the key a regular basis put flyers on those five pools do it over and over again you know over the course of a year and it's called five arounds you're doing it on the five pools around the pool that you're at all the time and that way um, when something happens with their pool if they need a repair if they need you know service they have your information, you're the first person that comes to mind, and then you can pick up pools that are close to the pools that you already have. And it's a way that you can, you know, um, maximize your your effectiveness so you're not driving all over the place taking care of hot tubs or pools or whatever. Now, here in, in Idaho, the pools do tend to be kind of far apart, so it's a little bit more difficult to do that here, but, you know, I, I still try to do some of that. Uh, Google Earth is a good place to go to, to look for, for swimming pools. Um, anyway, those are kind of some of the things that I do. Um, you know, Facebook, uh, Google Places, website, um, lettering on the car. These are some of the things that I do. And again, I do have other videos that go in more detail on this, but uh, that's kind of my nutshell answer to some of the questions I've been getting. Um, but I'm going to be doing a video on the number one ingredient. This is my teaser, the number one ingredient on um, building your pool service. So be looking for that within the next couple days because that video is coming. So anyway, God bless you. Um, I hope God prospers your business and the work of your hands. So have a good day out there and stay safe. God bless. Keep cleaning those pools.